Hey everybody and welcome back. If you haven't been here before, my name is Mary. Guess what season we're getting into here? We're coming into the month of October. Now, of course, that means Halloween. And if you're like me, I read a lot of paranormal, um, spooky, horror, vampire, whatever you want to call it. Um, I do enjoy it. I love to read it. Um, so the month of October, I'm going to read. Vampires are my favorite. Um, I absolutely love um, reading about vampires. I just just love it. And I, I absolutely love the vampire romance. Um, read a lot of that. But today I'm going to talk about my absolute um, favorite vampire. I absolutely love this guy. And that is Lothair. Lothair Dossiano. Love him. He is, this is from the Cressley Cole Mortals After Dark series. Um, if you've read that, you know exactly what I'm talking about, Lothair. He is um, very unforgettable. I could not wait for his story when I was reading the series. Um, I absolutely couldn't wait, looked forward to it, um, got the book because as soon as I could, and I absolutely adore it. Um, he is my favorite vampire. He is one hot vampire. If you've read this book, you know there are... Um, yeah, he's one scorching vampire. Very, very, very hot. Um, but this is my favorite vampire. If you've, if you've read the series, you know. But if not, um, the book is about Lothair. Um, he goes to find, um, he, I guess you consider his enemy, but he needs to find Ellie Pierce, which is his love interest in the book. Um, of course, he's not out to find love when he goes to get her. Um, to, according to him, she's just an insignificant human. Um, he has to sacrifice her after a month because, you know, he's trying to get revenge and all of that um, for his family and this and that. But it is such a good book. Um, Lothair is arrogant. He's self-centered. He um unforgettable. Um, he's just, you know, really, really can be an ass. But that's where you have Ellie, who really in this book, I was just absolutely, sometimes, you know, you get the heroine or, you know, the love interest and you're like, it just doesn't um, fit his character, which I think happened with William in, um, in uh, Gina Showwater's series. You know, I absolutely couldn't wait for William's story, and then I just didn't feel like the love interest, you know, kind of met my expectations. But with Cressley Cole and Lethair, Ellie was just perfect for him. You know, she was strong, she was spirited, um, but at the same time, very, very likable, um, very brave, and she was able to handle Lethair because it was going to take a strong, spirited woman to handle Lethair, you know. And again, there were some of the scenes in the book where you're just like, um, <laughs> When you're reading, you're like, oh, geez, that's really, really hot. Um, so, I wanted to do a video today to talk about my favorite vampire, which is Lothair. Again, all-time favorite. Um, and as you know, I just did an update on Cresley Cole, you know, because we're, we're hearing from her again. We got an update on Moreau, which is another book in the Mortals After Dark series, which we've all been waiting for. So that's real exciting. But... Lothair is definitely unforgettable, and if you haven't read Lothair, um, right now it's like $1.99 on Kindle. Um, but again, you kind of have, you don't have to read the whole series, but it does help, but you, you can read it, and I don't think you'll get too lost within it, other than other um, previous um, characters from other books coming in, but but there's one, one hot vampire, <laughs> I'll tell you that. Um, favorite of all time. Unless I find another one in October, because again, I'm going to read a lot of vampires. Um, I really love that, so I'm going to be looking for some more on um, Kindle Unlimited, I think. You know, where you can get a lot of um, new authors who are looking um, to make a name. And some of them, you know, again, I've been reading 
a lot, possibly too much, I think. I'm not getting a lot done, and that's a bad thing, but um, I'm hoping to find some really good vampire stories. Um, sometimes I get into the, the vampire books, and it's kind of the same thing, you know, and same trope kind of thing, you know, same thing happening. Um, no creativity, basically. You know, they, all of them are the same. So I'm looking for the, that different, that really kind of like the th Lothair, you know, even though he's only half vampire. But I really, really want to find um, some good reads on vampires. Um, it's been a while since I've really delved into any vampire books. So if you have any suggestions, you know, um, that would be great too. You know, I it's been a while since I've, you know, got into those again. Um, but it's October, and I know I'm rambling, but it's October. And um, so it's a perfect month to read some vampire stories. So we'll see what I find, and I will let you know what I find. Um, I'll keep track, and then I'll do a video of um, all the things I've read, whether I liked them or I didn't like them. I don't want to say that I'm hard to please, but I'm starting um, to figure that out with a lot of these books that I've been reading. Um, I've been reading a lot of like bully romance and stuff like that because um, I've, I've not really read a lot of that so I'm kind of branching out but some of those but you know I'm just not happy with them I don't know I'll read the reviews they'll get like four stars or whatever I'm like okay I'll give it a try and then I totally agree with the one two star review um, again I don't know if I'm hard to please when it comes to books I just I'm kind of a realist and if it goes too over the top I'm just I'm out so I'm really looking for some really good um, vampire books that um, are just entertaining and have some really um, really hot vampires so if you have any suggestions let me know but with that I'm gonna go but you know to start off October my favorite hottie vampire Lethair from the Immortals After Dark series by Cresley Cole. If you haven't read that series, really, really good series. She is absolutely wonderful writer. Totally, totally recommend her. So with that, I'm going to go. But hey, you know, take care of yourself and happy reading. Mm -hmm.